so welcome back to my channel if you are new and this is the first time watching my video thanks for coming and if you are an old subscriber welcome back so today i am going to be showing you guys how i created my vision board i didn't do too much of showing you guys exactly how i did it on the laptop i did something new for this year than i did for my 2020 my 2020 I actually was taking like pictures and then printing out pictures this time i actually did everything on canva and then i did all the adding it to the vision board so i'll explain everything in terms of how i the materials that i use but so stay tuned for that and i'll see you back at the end of the video all right guys so i'm showing you guys my canvas i got i had this from michael's i had this for a while now because normally sometimes uh i'll do like painting from paintings following paints from youtube like i Anyway, I used Canva, like I mentioned, to create my vision board words. Now, you can use newspapers, magazines. I've seen people do that as well. Um, last year, I didn't do anything digitally. Mostly, um, I just Google like images and stuff like that. And then I posted it and onto a board. This time around, I wanted to make it a little easier. So, I typed all the stuff. As far as any like, as you can see like there's a computer with the face and the YouTube emblem, all that stuff, all that was on Canva. Once again, I'll leave it down below in the description box so that you guys can check it out. But I highly, highly suggest that if you probably want to do something digitally because there could be backgrounds, like I chose my background from there. Um, we have elements tab, which allows you to, as you guys can see, like where I'm cutting up now, those, all those stuff I got in the elements tab just use a search bar and you can add different things that you like um i meant to you know, record how i actually did in canva but i didn't want to make the video any longer but like i said once you get an account it's pretty simple and there's stuff that guides you so to tell you like okay this is what you use for this if you want to add like your own photos you can as well there's an upload feature as well on there so canva is very like resourceful and I've used it for a while now, not only just to create this, but for other things for my content creation. So, and I will say, so I use a free account, but they also have a pay account if you want like some of the extra features. But honestly, they have a lot of great features in the free tab. So I haven't been too crazy into buying the paid version unless I would really need it in the future probably. But as of right now, no. And you can also customize certain templates. So for example, like that computer with the girl in it, I changed like the background and things like that. You can change whatever you want. You can make it whatever sizes you want. Change fonts, of course, and you can highlight the fonts, darken the font, whatever is up to you. But once again, this is just one way of doing it. You can choose however you want to do it. Most of boards are definitely cheaper, they're like a dollar, so if you that. and get the pictures and glue them. That's what I did for my last year's poster board. I will say last year though, um, after, after a while my stuff started falling apart, I guess the glue wasn't uh, sturdy enough, so I had to like re-tape and re-glue. Um, this one looks like, although I'm using tape, it looks like it's sturdy enough. Um, and it's a little less heavier to hang up on my wall as opposed to my last year. So definitely that was something. So I did not anticipate that me printing three pages. I don't know why. I thought I would have enough space to put all three, but I didn't. I guess I was just not thinking at the time of the size of the canvas. So I just went ahead and the other two pages, which is the things that I kind of just put together after I kind of created that middle section. When I was on Canva, I just cut those out and then I just put those around. That way everything could fit. But enjoy the rest. I'm just kind of work, um, just sorting them based on where I can put them and fit them. And yeah.
Okay guys, so pretty much I showed you guys how I completed and made this vision board. So what's different than my last one from last year is that this time I decided to use a canvas. What I did was, what I did last year was thinking about the goals that I had, the goals that I have, and also just reminders that I have for myself so that I'm constant, I can constantly look at it to remind me to do certain things. So some things are kind of similar to last year and then some things are different. So I guess I'll start with the middle. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm trying to do it this way so you guys can see. But all right, I'll start with the middle because that's where I actually started first when I was creating, before I added all these, when I was first creating it on Canva. So of course I just wrote 2021 vision board. And then first thing that I wrote was passive income. So if you are new, I've been saying that um, I wanted to have multiple pa past streams of passive income this year after taking my financial literacy course. So I have two things that I want to definitely accomplish when it comes to passive income. So that's one goal. And then here I have brand deals. I definitely want to work with more brands and even a bigger brand and kind of paid collaboration. So that's just a goal I'm setting towards myself. And then here, of course, God continuing to continuing to uh, have a faith journey with God as always and then on here I said 2,000 plus followers on Instagram I'm trying to get to 2,000 next year and if I get beyond then that's great but I'm currently at 1,700 so I have roughly 300 to get to the 2,000 mark so I'm almost there but yes um, and YouTube so last year my goal was to gain more subscribers this year, my goal, 2020 year, will be to hit that 1,000 subscriber mark because that's all I need to get monetized. So that is my goal, 1,000. And then now for the things that I did around. So here I just have girl power because um, I'm just about being girl power. You can do a lot of things. And I feel like as I've grown as an influencer now, even though I'm still a small influencer, um, I feel like I've changed a lot in terms of like being confident, especially on camera and things like that, and doing this whole influencer thing because I'm honestly, you guys, for those of you guys who've been watching me for a long time, you probably think, oh, she's not shy, like, but I'm actually outside of YouTube, like, I'm really shy, I don't like to talk to people, but YouTube is just like, it's easy to talk to people and stuff like that, so I don't know, but yeah. So then here I have journal. Uh, I do have a journal that I, one of them I received for my birthday, which is not yet by the time you're watching this video, but it will be tomorrow. Um, and so that's something that has really been helpful for me to jot down my thoughts, to jot down, plan my, my, uh, to plan my content. I'm going to try to be better though at planning ahead. Um, not only for YouTube, but also for Instagram, because sometimes I feel like I lag when it comes to Instagram. So I'm trying to be on top of it in terms of what I want to post for each day. Um, I'm trying to stick to five days a week. I used to be good at that, but it's just sometimes you got to know in your head already what content. So I'm trying to really be good at being consistent, at least for five days a week when it comes to Instagram. But YouTube, I'm pretty good with for some, for some reason, but I think it's because it's three days a week as opposed to five days a week. But yes, so that is something that I'm challenging myself to do. Um, positive positive vibes, just just kind of to just remind to be calm and not stress stress too much. I actually have this positive vibe quote in a canvas, like a decoration, big canvas in my room. If you've seen my room tour, then you know what I'm talking about in the other side of my room. So this, but this is just a constant mind, reminder to have positive vibes around me. Uh, Netflix, so this is like not more so of a goal, but it's just something for me to remember to relax. So Netflix is on here. I was gonna add other stuff like Disney Plus and stuff, but I just added Netflix because it was there already and I didn't feel like typing anymore to be honest. So um, I just clicked Netflix, but it's just like a reminder, like take a break, self-care. Um, another self-care was here is like doing yoga. Um, I don't really do yoga, but um, it was just the best thing, closest thing I could find to like self-care. So taking that time to breathe. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, Eat clean. This is this is I didn't accomplish last year, but we're gonna try to accomplish it this year. Um, eat clean and exercise. Stay healthy. I did not do that. I do, that was a goal for last year and that I didn't accomplish. Um, so I'm gonna really try this coming 
2021 year and we'll see how that goes out um and then water oh i'm messing this up guys i gotta put some tape on this and then water um of course continuing to drink my water I don't, that's not really an issue but that goes in with being healthy so i just said water water is better for you than juice because i'm a coffee drinker so more water more water and lastly it says you totally got this just a reminder that um to just push me of course i'm not going to try to stress if something does not get accomplished this year that's Totally fine in 2020 you know it was unpredictable for us a lot of things we had accomplished and i already talked about this in my revision recap if you haven't seen that i'll leave the link up but you know 2020 was a year that a lot of things happened that we didn't think was going to happen so if certain things don't happen this coming year i'll be okay with it but if i can at least accomplish some of my goals like i did this year then i'm happy about that so yeah but hopefully you guys enjoyed my 2021 vision board are you thinking about creating a 2021 vision board i know that i asked this in my recap but if you did create a 21 2021 vision board um what is at least one goal that you're if you're comfortable sharing one goal that you definitely want to accomplish uh, whether if you're a content creator if it's a youtube goal or just something simple make sure you like you comment you subscribe you hit the notification button and subscribe button so that you're notified every time i post a new video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye